It's a great night for soccer in Baltimore from the CQ Arena tonight. It's the Baltimore Blast and the Harrisburg Heat. Paul Mittermeyer, Lita Chanteret, and Andrew Primrose on the call for you tonight. Not only is it a great night, it's a crucial night here in Baltimore. A playoff atmosphere, a sellout as the Blast coming in 14 and 8 on the season, Harrisburg 12 and 7. And Lee, this is what it's all about as a player. Crunch time, must win games. And there's one thing we do know, we'll go through all the tie breaking scenarios in a second with the rest of the teams. One thing we do know, if the Blast win tonight and win against Milwaukee, they're in the playoffs. So they have their own destiny in their own hands. Yeah, look at this is where you want to be, right? This is not for all the marbles, but it's probably as close as it can come to being for all the marbles. Uh, if you win, you are in. And if not, then you're hoping for a loss here, hoping for a loss there. So this is kind of a do or die game, at least as I'm sure the blast is looking at this. All right, the tiebreaker scenarios, before we get to that real quick, let's talk about the key players on these two teams. First for the blast, Vinny Dantas, 36 goals in the season, number three in the league. But if you're gonna talk about Vinny's 36 goals, you have to also talk about Jonathan Mello, 25 assists, number two in the league, and in most of those assists to Vinny Dantas. What a combination. Yeah, they complement each other really well. So, you know, Mello is really crafty and tight situations. He's able to find Vinny in goal scoring opportunities, 1v1 situations. They really just complement each other well. Harrisburg led by Dominic Francis, 33 goals in the season. He's right behind Dantas, but in a different way. He's really more of a finisher and a guy that you can't make mistakes. He will beat you on set pieces. He'll beat you on set pieces if you fall asleep uh, during the game and you leave him open. He uh, He's got a great shot, and even more than that, his release is so quick. So if you're just a split second late, that shot's going to be on target. All right, so one storyline to follow tonight. No Nelson Santana for Harrisburg. A card accumulation suspension. He misses tonight's game for the Heat. He'll be back for their next game against Utica City. We talked about the tiebreaker scenarios. Andrew Primrose, let's bring Andrew in. And we, we went through this before the game. It is crazy right now in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, I mean, nothing settled aside from Florida has clinched the playoffs at this point. I mean, there's so so many different scenarios with who's alive, who could clinch what seed. You mentioned the Blast have the win and in situation. Uh, Harrisburg has four, uh, four games after tonight remaining. Milwaukee still has six games remaining on their schedule. Uh, there's a scenario where all three teams could tie for third place and one of the teams would be eliminated. I know the league was working through tiebreaker scenarios and looking at division or conference goal differential. So for the total goals. So that's going to be real interesting to see. If you're the Blast, your focus has to be on two things. One, just winning both games. And then secondarily, if you're the Blast, you want to win by more than five if you can tonight because that, of course, will give them the head-to-head tiebreaker over Harrisburg, which is the sixth head-to-head tiebreaker. Uh, but right now, the Harrisburg Heat have a four-goal differential against the Blast by virtue of their 9-5 win the last two times, the last time these two teams played. So for the Blast, it's win. And then secondarily, if they can win by more than five, they're in real good shape going into that that game against Milwaukee. Yeah, as we mentioned, the Blast coming in at 14 and 8, Harrisburg at 12 and 7. Harrisburg's here tonight in Baltimore. They play Utica City twice, once this coming Wednesday. They also host Dallas and Milwaukee. The Wave have only played 18 games. They have six games left. They're uh, doing some work this weekend. They have two games at home against Orlando this weekend, but then they're at St. Louis. They host the Blast. They're at Utica City and at Harrisburg. A very tough schedule for the Wave. And even if you want to throw Utica into the the mix. They have 
they have six games in the next 22 days. Kansas City at the Heat, Dallas, Rochester, again in Harrisburg, and then they finish with the Wave. So it's uh, some work to put in, and that's the crazy thing on the unbalanced schedule. For the Blast, it's tonight and next Sunday, and then you grab some popcorn and you watch the rest of the league play. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you what. So looking at this schedule, Paul, what I'm thinking about if I'm the Blast, I mean, first and foremost, you want to clinch, right? right? But if you do clinch, look at the wear and tear these teams are going to have on their bodies battling each other because every win counts. So these guys are going to be going at it. So the wear and tear heading into the playoffs, you know, the, the Blast could really be well rested up. Ready to go. Com yeah, compared to the three teams in front of them. Playoff weekend, the 26th, 27th, or excuse me, 27th, 28th, 29th of March. Blast will have two weeks to watch what happens if they can get into the second season. Here we go. We're underway. Blast. Manzella out to Pereira shot. Ben or Willie B makes the save. It's loose shot. And a goal. Counted for Vinny Dantas. And the Blast are on top right away. What a great, what a great way to start the game. Good transition, good shot, great follow-up by Vinny. Very active. Not only did he follow it up the first time, but followed it up the second time. I'm curious to see how the Heat is going to handle adversity without Nelson Santana. Nelson does a lot of that on-field coaching season. and coming down on this team. There's a great distribution, and then nice job as Herrera uh, shot Herrera just goes to goal. Uh, Willie B makes the save, loose shot, and a goal. Great effort by Dantas to stay with it and finish. Yeah, once again, you know, Juan brings such good energy on both ends of the field. Great counterattack. Gets the shot on target, makes the keeper make a save, and there's a rebound. 15 seconds into the game, the Blast score, and they take a quick 1-0 lead. And Lee, you talked about it. How about the distribution from William Banzella to set up the offense? Put it right on his foot, moved it down. Okay, away from the double team. Mello helps out. It's loose along the boards, and Jonathan wins it back. Now Cemento now for the Blast. To our goalkeeper matchup in a second. Our goal already on the board before we even did that. Thomas now back for Vanzella. Okay, one on one. Good turn off the boards in front. Loose and it squirts through the box. Good opportunity again for the blast. Thompson tries to clear, but the blast all over that. Mello keeps it alive and wins the possession back. Change. Here's Rayleigh now. That matchup's going to favor the Blast all night. I think Lucas is going to be able to create a lot of opportunities with his back to the goal tonight. Pereira drive. Willie B with the kick save. Pereira on the attack again. Off the boards in front to lose. Now Willie B tries to clear. France on top of it. Victor down the little turn there. Still loose. Thompson can't get it away from him. Finally, uh, the Harrisburg Heat clear, but not out. And now they do clear, and now a foul called as France hits the turf. Looks like he got a hand to the face. It'll be a free kick for the Blast. I tell you, Juan always brings a lot of energy, but he's really come out with an extra, yeah, he's, an extra jump in his step here tonight. He's come out with a little hop in his step. We always talk about the Blast. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven players now with a couple of goals from guys with nine goals could have. They got seven guys with ten goals this year. Wow, that's just amazing balance. Don Tony Donatelli, the 2020 man, 22 goals, 21 assists. The shot to go! NDI from the yellow line. It's 2 nothing blast. <laughs> Great shot once again, getting your shot on target. I think the defender may have screened the goalkeeper here, but still a great shot. Tucks it in near post. Donatelli with a good leave, and then just a quick flick of the foot. Time to go 142. Donatelli assist number 22. I wonder if this went through the defender's legs. Let's see. Oh, yep. it, oh, it did. It did. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it, lo it looked like it by, by how the keeper was reacting. You could tell he was... Counting, you know, he on, was counting on that, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, what a great job. Diving header by Vanzella. What is it with keepers? They all want to be forwards, <laughs> and all forwards want to be goalkeepers. All I used professional to love athletes want to be rock stars, right? Uh, yeah. All off the boards, and Lalella forced back into his own end. Good, good turn here on Dantas. Uh, great recovery. Great recovery by Donatelli there trying to help out uh, Vinny. Miscommunication pushes Elton back. 
Ashley B with a quick touch to the middle. Dangerous pass to the wing. Manzella with a good read over beats Ty Hall to the ball. Well, the Blast had four guys in the offensive end on the press. They actually outnumbered Harrisburg. Harrisburg broke it, but William Vanzella stopped it. Barrera comes the other way. Oh, Jawan, and that's a good recovery. Nice defensive play by Barry. Foul called on the Blast. I tell you what, two Blast, two blast players went to press the keeper there, kind of got caught off balance a little bit. And William, what a fantastic job of reading that play way before it happened. He saw that they were out of balance, and you could see him inching up the field before that ball was even played. So he was reading that one before that ball was even hit. We really talk about William as the sixth field player, and he's really kind of established that early in this game. Let's talk about the keepers, Vanzella, 14 and 7. His 14 wins, number two in the league, 445 goals against average, number three, and 708 save percentage, number four in the league. Now, Willie B for Harrisburg, just as good. He's seven and four. His 511 goals against average, number seven in the league, and save percentage just below Williams, 707, good for fifth in the league. Oh, ball quickly off the turn and into the hands of Vanzella. Up ahead for Roque. Thompson beats him to it, but Lucas beats him to the turn. That's a veteran indoor soccer play right there, knowing where the ball's going to come off the boards at. Did you see the crossing runs by the two forwards there? They really mixed up the one defender there. It was two great runs by both forwards, first forward and second forward. Nice job by Mello in the midfield as he wins the ball from SK. Pretty neat story from SK as uh, unfortunately had some tragedy and his family was forced to go down to Florida as there's a shot on Willie B with a save. He was forced to go down to Florida and just arrived right before the game. He flew into Dallas on his own after speaking at the ceremony today and uh, came in right before the game and steps on the field. So I'm sure playing with a heavy heart, but uh, kind of amazing to, to go through that and uh, be here for his teammates here tonight. So we'll keep an eye on SK as he's had a, a busy day. France. Tries to win the ball, it's still loose. Comes off the board, shot it all! Jeremy Riley, it's 3-0 Blast. What great sustained pressure in the offensive third by the Blast. Really patient moving the ball around, and then nice finish by Riley. Looked like it went maybe between the keeper's legs. It went, I think, to the defender and the keeper's legs. All year we've been talking about what if the Blast capitalized in these opportunities early on. So many opportunities, they don't capitalize. How many games have we hit the post? Here you're seeing a game where the Blast are capitalizing. Uh, I think you're right, Paul. I think it did go through both legs, the wow. defender and the, the goalkeeper. Timeout, Harrisburg. Pat Healy gives his team a chance to take a breath. And I think, Andrew, you nailed it on the head. Uh, it's a blast. Well, how many times have we seen him hit the post three or four times early and then not take advantage so far, though? They've capitalized on pretty much every opportunity Harrisburg's given them. Yeah, that's the name of the game, right? Goals change momentum. And uh, when you can put them in, it's great. And when you can't, you kind of leave a team hanging around, and sometimes it comes to bite you. Jeremy Raley's fourth goal of the season. Give the assist to Victor France. Assist number six on the year. Point number 15 for Victor. So a good start to the Blast 3-0. Here we're just three minutes and 48 seconds <laughs> into the game. Unbelievable start. And I mean, the crowd's only going to get more into it. And this is a, another sellout crowd, the third sellout of the year for the Blast. And uh, this place was loud pregame, and it's just getting louder now. So, Paul, does this where having Nelson or not having Nelson really hurts you? Absolutely. He's got right? just a veteran presence just yeah. to say, hey, listen, guys, calm down. We got this. He's, been, he's been through these wars a yeah. thousand times, right? Kind of keeps everybody level-headed and, and calm. So it'll be interesting to see the reaction here. Harrisburg will start here out of the timeout. Villela drive it into the corner. Ball to the box, loose in front, Francis shot and a goal. Well, how about that? Timeout, Pat Healy, his team comes back, and Dominic Francis puts Harrisburg on the board. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. It's pretty good defending here, it looks like. Let me, uh, yeah, the ball got away from Juwan, and that's what started everything in the corner, and then they really didn't do a good job there on Francis. No, but the ball, even even when it hit Francis, it, it, it gets the initial block, and then it bounces straight up, and it falls for him. So eight seconds after the blast, get, take a 3 nothing lead. Ty Hall gets the assist for Harrisburg. 
Dominic Francis, goal number 34 of the season. Johnny on the spot. So great time out there from Pat Healy. Kind of interesting from Willie B early on is that's the second or third ball now that's popped up on him relatively easy that he's kind of bounced up on. So you keep an eye on that. You wonder with nerves with him. He's a great goaltender, physical specimen. This has got to be one of the first big games he's played in the MASL. If not, I would say probably the biggest game he's played in his career so far. Interesting how he handles that pressure mentally. I have to agree with that, right, Lee? Probably the biggest game he's played in. Yeah, no, absolutely. He understands the implications of this. You can go two games up on the heat, and then it gives you a little room with your last four games, or it basically, well, it doesn't bury you, but it really puts you behind the eight ball. As much as we talk about this, the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs, are you good, are you bad? Man, the experience, the blast from the table in big games is, is huge. It's yeah. just huge. I, I was talking to Giuliano Oliveri last year, uh, and he was just saying how Utica was basically touting themselves as, oh, we're going to kill them, the blast is done. And Jules was like, look it, until you beat the champ, you are not the champ. And they've been there many times, and he was right. I mean, I mean, look at, and you talk about the blast, look at the situations they've been in. Like going to Mexico two years in a row, being down, scoring goals at the end of games when you're down. Those kind of things just cement you as a clutch player. Yeah, cement you as a clutch player, but you start to develop the culture. You start to develop the culture of winning, and it starts from the top, right? So nothing's going to phase Danny. Nothing's going to phase David. They've been there a zillion times. They've been in front, you know, leading the pack. They've come from behind. They've been in the middle of the pack. So th these situations for them, they know how to deal with. Quick turn. Morgan with a nice a nice save by Van Zella there with the foot. Well, let's go back to last year. I mean, the Blast had a chance, a shot there at the end of that game that you almost expected to go in. The Blast had a chance to tie that game and send it to overtime in Milwaukee on that eliminator, and it was kind of a shock it didn't go in yeah. after the run the Blast had had. That 2-1 loss to Milwaukee in the conference final last year, absolutely. And, the, you know, that's the narrow, really, margin of win and loss. <laughs> Juwan Pereira running in circles there. So after some good possession time by Harrisburg, the Blast have it. Heat have kind of settled down here yeah. after the 3-0 start. Yeah, this next goal is going to dictate, I think, how the rest of this, to be honest with you, how the rest of this first half goes. Pereira on a run to the box in front, and a huge defensive play by Elton to stone him away. Three lines here. Should have been a three-line violation. They finally make the call. Three-line violation. How about that run by Pereira? <laughs> and we talked about it. He's got a little bit of juice in his step tonight. He does. I mean, look, Juan is a consummate professional, and he's got he's a great two-way player. Always has a good engine, but he's got he's got an extra jump in his step tonight. Gotta tell you, fans, everyone out. Now Cemento drags it to the corner. Shot off the boards in front. That's kicked away. Donatelli runs on, flicks it to the corner. Rarely chases. Fakes. Cuts it through. France. Shot is blocked in front. Header that's blocked away. Donatelli a drive, and that's into the crowd. Just the focus on the blast bench right now. Although, you know, the, there have been disagreements over shift changes this year. There's been all these things going on with the blast. No argument. None of that tonight. Focus, determination. I mean, it showed up on the scoreboard, but absolutely just focus on their faces. Even when uh, Harrisburg scored, wasn't a lot of worry. It was just, all right, we're on to the next. I, mean, I think you'd agree. There's a lot that goes into a 24 game season on a bench that happens, you know? That's it's, you human, know, it's human nature. That is stuff for the team to figure out. That's, you know, that is just how it goes all the time. Holding foul on Harrisburg. Harris with the call here, so it'll be a free kick for the Blast. I like how patient the Blast have been on offense. Yeah, they're moving the ball around, they're spreading it out. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, I'd like to see Vinny get back in there, getting that ball down low and having some runners run off of them. To boy Morgan, uh, Morgan already getting a talking to from the official tonight. France off the boards, kicked away by Harris. Victor France turns on Morgan. Still has it. Now Morgan finally takes it away. I think Victor wanted an interference call on the boards there. Yeah, I think he was waiting for the foul, and honestly, I thought the ref was trying to play advantage. Now Malcolm Harris in the offensive end. 
Hundelt. Back for Thompson. Halfway through the first quarter, Blast with a 3-1 lead. Just joining us, a lot of action so far early on in this one. Harris now, near side. Elton, marked by Victor France. Now into the corner for Ty Hall, that gets away from Ty. Fake by Thomas, he comes out with it, and Mello fans out for the blast. There's that patience again, Paul, instead of pressing it up, keeping possession, getting the line change. Just a very calm blast team. Zella takes it himself, now here's Dantas. Vinny turns, works on Elton, steps through two defenders. Diesel, a shot to go! How did that get through? I think he's got a little bit of the jitters, but once again, exactly what I talked about, getting that ball down low to Vinny. They're doubling Vinny. Vinny did a good job to get it to Diesel, and once again, you can't score if your shots aren't on target. So whether it should have gone in or didn't go in, look at D's got his shot on target. Time down on the floor. Goal by Diesel, assist to Dantas. 4-1 blast. Back with more first quarter action. Blast soccer on NBC Sports Watch. No, 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 no. Jack, can I talk to you? I think you need one of these. You're acting like a kid. Yes, yes, yes. Have a blast and score big at Antwerp and Automotive. Jack is saying yes to every deal on all new and pre-owned vehicles. Plus discounts up to $15,000 and no payments for three months. Now at all 10 Antwerp and locations. Jack says yes. yes. Back to Baltimore, blast lead at 4-1, and when we talked at the break, uh, so far will he be a little shaky in goal for Harrisburg? Yeah, those are some uncharacteristic goals he's given up so far, and I'm sure the blast is aware of that, so I'm sure they're going to try to put some more on frame. I mean, as a player, you start shooting on goal, right? Absolutely. You, know what's gonna, you don't know what's going to go through and what's not. Well, not only do you shoot on goal, you follow up everything, so that gives him that, that worry in his mind that they're, they're there for the rebound as well. Herrera clears. For Mike Diesel, his third goal of the season, a mistake by Willie B. Puts it into the crowd. Defensive clearance and a restart at the top of the arc for the blast. It's, it starts compounding because it's in your head now. So it starts building. So, oh, it's another mistake. And I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Donatelli's shot is blocked. Job by the Heat there on the restart. Oh, it was clearly oh. out of the box. Well, Willie B's whole body was out of the box. Yeah, it's not where his body is. It's where the ball is. But the ball, the ball, yeah. by, the ball was definitely on the line. I don't know if it, it was. was uh, it was close. It was really close. Elton just bullying his way down the wing. Ball comes free. Steal by France. Victor France with some nifty footwork. Nice job. I would have liked to see a delay whistle there, like Victor fought through him and he didn't dive and fall, but that was clearly a foul. Oh, and then he gets one here. Well, Victor has played hard here and come up empty on a couple of situations where he should have probably gotten a foul call. Well, I, I tell you what, Victor has been fantastic since acquiring him. The, the Blast has become a much better team. That last goal by Diesel, Dantas picks up the assist on that one. His 17th assist of the season, 54 points on the season now for Vinny. And, Lee, I agree with you completely about Victor, and it's kind of a shame that... Oh, was... Foul called here on the blast. That's a, I'd, take, I'd like to take a look at that one again. I was... In, it was kind of out of the corner of my eye. It didn't look like much, but... What are we doing with the ball? And the foul happened at the top of the arc. I know. I think the, I think it happened right around there. I just don't know how much of a foul this it really a great was. Great opportunity for the Harrisburg Heat. I'm um, just. I'm assuming from this. Oh, I like this by William. 
Uh, now they've got to drop off. There you go. Oh, oh. He saves it. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Challenge him and no, see what he I, wants I, to do. I love that by Williams step up, basically made, you know, a five-man wall, and France wasn't very smart there. France would have dropped down by the board. It would have pulled Adriano out of there, which then opens up that ball in between Adriano and William. Corner kick now for Harrisburg, Villela. I wonder if Pat hadn't taken his time out before, if he would have taken one there. Good save by William. Adriano up the boards. Good touch. Back for Nascimento now. Vanzella will run things. William touches it off the boards. Never makes it to Dantas. Elton cross field too far for Thompson. And the blast takeover. Here comes Dos Santos. Adriano keeps it going. Touches to the middle for Dantas. That's breaking up, broken up. And now three on two. Harrisburg the other way. Good touch. Shot off the boards in front. Vanzella knocks it down and the clears out for the blast. Here comes Dantas and a foul called on Vinny. Now the referee is talking to the blast bench and in well, particular talking to Dos Santos. I think he's talking to Adriano from the last foul, but I'm not sure if I'd like to see that again. I'm not sure how much of a foul this was or if they actually just didn't have that door closed and the door popped open and he hit and it was more of a reaction to the sound than the actual hit because it looked like Vinny was in front of him and trying to pull away and almost just trying to hold him off from being right. from being pulled back. I'd like, like to take a look at that again because uh, well, obviously he's to not. To voice well enough to get up and yell at Vinny. That's good. It's healthy enough to do that. I don't know if we can see a replay. It's a tough break for the blast because Dantas had the ball and was going. Uh, Vinny was going, and I'm telling you, he was in front. I think he was, Vinny was being pulled from behind by Morgan, and it just looked like Vinny was trying to hold him off. I don't know how much you can generate, like, a pushing power from that position. The one thing you don't want to have is up high in the face. <laughs> you can't go for the three stooges poke to the eye. <laughs> <laughs> So it'll be a free kick for Harrisburg. Harris can't settle it. Dantas makes the steal, and Vinny pulls it back and plays it for Vanzella. Quick chip. Oh, header by Mello. Willie B heads it away. SK double teamed in the corner. Nice job by SK to keep the ball alive, and holding foul called on the blocks. Harrisburg will attack here. Harris down the wing, far side. Nice speed by Harris. Off the boards. Rayleigh knocks that away. Manzella to the corner of the box to make that play. He heaves it all the way down. Off the board. Shot by Roque in front. And then with that hit. Right off the crossbar. Hit the top of the crossbar. And it looks like it is off the top of the crossbar. That should be a corner. That was deflected. Now, I think it stayed in play. No. Right, but I mean, it was it went out eventually, but it was deflected on his shot. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, it, it clearly was. Down here, I mean, I, it's right in front of me. Really B? That's a mistake. Gives that away. In front, Roque, quick touch, shot. Oh, Lucas. Point blank in front, he puts it into the crowd. Again, will he be a little shaky in front of that net? Uh, yeah, that's that's not one Lucas misses that often. He did the right thing. He had to go high because there were a bunch of bodies in front of him on the ground. Great pass by Diesel, by the way, to get it right back to Roque in the box. Off the turnover. Pereira through the midfield. Carries the mail for Nascimento. Interesting that Willie B went back to something they did in the last game here in Baltimore, which is just throw it into the box at William, try and get bodies in front of William and create traffic. Now Cemento can't find an avenue to get it into the box, so he clears it back for Pereira. Good touch by Donatelli for Dos Santos, and now Roque in the corner. Lucas to the box. Donatelli in front. Oh! What a save by Willie B. Clearly his best of the game. Ah, great save. Nice header by by, uh, by Donatelli. I would have loved to see him maybe try to go low on that. 
Left foot by Roque to the corner. Finds Dos Santos. Adriano pushed to the board, and a foul called on Morgan. Oh, what a save by Willie B. Maybe that gets him going. Now it's great reaction save. I find when you're struggling, those are the those are the saves you'll make. It's the ones you have right. to think about. Right. Just do, you know, not, you don't have to think. Right. Makes just it a lot easier. Athleticism. And Donatelli oh. puts it into the mesh behind the goal. So it'll be a goalkeeper distribution for Willie B. Guys, it's three minutes left in the first quarter. And there's been some action here in the first Good quarter. Good Lord. It's been a lot of energy expended, so we'll see which team is a little bit deeper. Interesting again, Willie B throws it to the box and Hall tries to deflect it past Vanzella. He makes the save. Thomas knocks it down to the corner. Oh, France plays it into the into the box. That goes by everyone. NDI steps in, but Harrisburg comes out with it. You talk about the depth, Paul. The Blast haven't seen Sam Guernsey or Andrew Hoxie, both dressed, haven't played a shift yet so far. So be pretty nice for uh, to bring those two off in the third quarter or at the end of the second quarter. As we foul see Rayleigh spilled. Foul on SK as he knocked Rayleigh to the turf. So it'll be interesting to see if Danny and and, uh, and David address the, the long ball into the box from the keeper. So, uh, you know, if the, if the, if the forward's going to stand that deep, you almost, as a defender, I think, want to stand in front of him because William's behind him. You know, you want you want to kind of intercept that ball so he doesn't skip it on because then if it doesn't hit William, it's going in the goal from that close. Right. Well, it's something they did with frequency in that last game here, so it's not a surprise to... David, so sure they'll adjust. Nothing changes. That's like U10 soccer. Shoot it high. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it high. Kick the ball high. Steal by NDI. Jawan drags it forward. Tony Donatelli sneaking off the bench. Ooh, quick flick inside, and Willie B plays it off of a Heat player, but they say it was a deflection. I'm not sure how much a deflection that was. I'd like to see that again. He did well to flick it behind his body with, with his back foot, but I think he meant to do that. I think he clearly meant to pass it, whether he meant to pass it to the goalie or not. He come out with it. Three on three. Elton shot over the glass by Harris. No. Elton Cole dives in for the foul. Elton hit the boards. Questionable was whether Elton hit the boards himself or Vinny pushed him into the boards. Two you, feet. And the has gotten a little bit lucky a couple times on the defensive end, getting caught out of position a little bit. He's got to be really careful with his positioning. That last shot, he was so far off his man that it was a wide open shot. Yeah, Malcolm Harris had some net to shoot out there. Oh, he had a lot. If he hits the target, that's going to be hard for William to cover that much ground. Lalella comes out of his own yellow line. Ty Hall now near side. Holds things up for the Heat. Close to a minute left here in the first quarter. Thompson marked by Thomas. Now Valella pushed back by Donatelli. Francis marked by Diesel. Hall, nice turn. Can't get a shot off. Runs into the referee. Pulls it back out now. 50 seconds left in the quarter. Harrisburg trying to get back in this one. Barry down the wing, off the turn. Dos Santos kicks that away. And it deflects all the way back to Vanzella. William has it with 35 left in the quarter. Fires it down. Had to get rid of it, just cleared the pressure. Nah, it's a, it's a great decision. Great decision by William. Some guys were changing. You don't want to risk bringing the ball out of the back there, just dumping it up there and, and kind of letting this time tick is a good decision. Diesel gets called for the foul and then gets talked to by the official, obviously for dissent. I don't think the official liked what Mike Diesel had to say. <laughs> Free kick Harrisburg in their defensive end. Went to the middle of the field there, and a goal! Wow, that was just a bizarre scenario. Ah, that's a that's a that's a very bad mistake. You can't allow a ball to be played into a target over that distance, straight down the middle of the field, and then he actually turned and hit a fantastic shot. Savoy Morgan 
And he just turned from the yellow and with the left foot put it into the corner. Yeah, too easy on multiple levels there. 17th goal of the season for Morgan. The ball into the box is way too easy, and then you can't be off the forward that far when he turns. 14.37 the time of the goal. Will he be again? Bobbling all over the place. Tell you what. Harrisburg right back at it. Five seconds left in the quarter. Los Santos going to hold everybody off. Two seconds. One second. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. That'll do it. End of the first quarter. Blast score the first three of the quarter. Harrisburg rallies to get back within 4-2. Back with second quarter action after the break. You're watching Blast Soccer on NBC Sports Washington. Every day all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... At the end of every workday, someone's waiting for your safe return. Connect with your local agent or visit us online. Our country has changed over the last 80 years. At Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield, we're not just embracing this change, we're driving it in our own backyard. As a local not-for-profit, we're tackling some of the region's biggest health challenges and making care more accessible for you by providing access to digital tools, transforming health care for over 3 million of your neighbors, forging new paths to live fearless. Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. And welcome back to Baltimore. It was an action-packed first quarter. Six goals in all. Vinidatas, Moendiai, Jeremy Raley, and Mike Diesel goals for the blast. Dominic Francis and Tavoy Morgan tallied for Harrisburg in that first quarter. And folks, as we wind down the regular season, you don't want to miss kick this. Outside of being on the team, the best way to know what's happening in the MASL, all the playoff scenarios, all the playoff uh, possibilities, tune in every week to Soccer Sam as he discusses the ins and outs of all the MASL action. Find kick this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern on I. Heart Radio. Interesting, we talked after the third goal when the question became, you know, what was going to happen? Would Harrisburg be able to settle down? And Lee, I think they did over the last few minutes of that second first quarter. They kind of got themselves back into sorts. Yeah, no, they did. They, they kind of got themselves back into the game a little bit, but uh, look at it. It was a great quarter by the blast. I think they had a large majority of the play. I think the number of opportunities that they had probably doubled or, or tripled what Harrisburg had. Just unfortunate to give that last one up right there, right before the quarter ends. No question. We'll see what kind of momentum that Harrisburg can build off that late goal. You always talk about late or last minute goals in quarters, how they affect the rest of the game. And sometimes it really does give you momentum leading into that next quarter. Absolutely. Going into the end of that quarter, they were, if they're down 4-1, it's a completely different con conversation and completely different energy uh, that it is now going 4-2 into that quarter. Blast out shot. Harrisburg 12-9 in the first quarter. Eight fouls in the blast, four for Harrisburg, and six saves for Willie B, and five for William Vanzella. And we'll continue to watch Willie B as a uh, you know, little little jittery in that first quarter. I think that's a fair statement to say in that first quarter. Yeah, look, at he let in some goals that he normally wouldn't let in. I think the moment sometimes as a young player is tough to handle. Uh, this will be something he learns from. Blast will start with it in the second quarter. And it was a blast onslaught. They scored those three goals in the first 348 of the first quarter. And then Harrisburg outscored him the rest of the way 2-1. Mello steals. Mello shoots. Big save by Willie B that time as he came out top of the box and got the hand on it. Great save, but I actually thought that was going to get by him. He got there last second. Far side now, Valella plays down for Ty Hall. Marked by Nascimento. Plays it back. 
Delello tries to move around Mello. Off the boards in front. Now Cemento kicks that aside. Vanzella clears. And Willie B will play it for the Heat. Uh, I would have liked to have seen Victor go straight at the keeper there. He's been a little bit shaky, so make him make a decision with his feet. Elkson uses the arm on France. Ty Hall has it. First minute of play, second quarter. Dominic Francis plays it to the far side, comes off. Thompson. It's funny, we didn't mention Dominic Francis' name very much in that first quarter, but he had a goal. Yeah, that's kind of the way, mean, pretty, that's the way it goes, right? Pretty much like the first time that, you know, last game he played here, he didn't mention him very much, but at the end of the day, he puts a couple on the board. That's what forwards do. Great run here. Morgan now turns, shoots, deflected, headed, and in. Oh, Hunt dealt with a nice run behind the defense, and Harrisburg cuts it to one. That's just an unfortunate bounce. I'm not really sure how much you can do there. It took two unfortunate bounces in one play. This is just a, starts with a great run by SK, and then Morgan just flicks it towards the goal, gets loose, and then somehow Hundelt runs on and puts it home. Yeah, it kind of bounced between Jeremy's legs off his shins a little bit here. Yeah, it bounces off the inside of his shin and then off the keeper and then off Victor, and then it just falls right to a, a Harrisburg player, and he dispatches it. Dylan Hundelt with goal number 11 on the season. Thomas off the boards in front. It's still loose. Now come the heat now. Here's Malcolm Harris. Good touch for Valella into the corner. His drive goes over the goal. Out it comes the other side. Blast with the counterattack now. Dantas. Quick shot. That's just wide. Goes over everyone, and the blast will settle. NDI for Dos Santos. Well, we have ourselves a game now. <laughs> Yeah, for a while it looked like the Blast might have been able to pull away here, but they're kind of crawling back into this game, Harrisburg. Willie Beak out off his line. Well, really, it's coincided with the Blast not maintaining possession. They really just haven't kept possession so far in this quarter, and that's uh, enabled Harrisburg to, uh, to get back into this game, as you say, crawl back into it. Good ball here by Willie B. Morgan as a target. Picked up by Dos Santos. Francis with a run. He's loose. Francis with a quick shot. And Manzella was almost caught by surprise there. I don't I honestly don't think it's been as much a lack of possession as just getting caught in transition. Hundell cuts it off. Last blocket. But back to SK, out he comes. This is where this is where the blast now has been caught two or three times in transition on the wrong side of the defender, on the wrong Perez. side of the offensive player. Okay, drags it, shoots off the boards in front. Willie B knocks it away, off the boards. Diesel with a drive, that's blocked, rebound, and it goes just wide. Uh, Mikey, you got to be smarter than that. Michael, Michael's got to be smarter than that. No matter what happens, you can't, in a game like this, lose your temper and push like that. It can easily end up being two minutes. Well, it's getting out of hand right now. An old-fashioned scrapper going on. I don't think Willie B thought he could, was going to have to make a save against his own teammate. <laughs> That's what happened in that last sequence. Yeah, you know, you got to give the kids some credit, right? He's had a tough beginning, but he's come back and made a couple good saves. So he's kind of got his jitters, learned from the first quarter, and uh, seems to kind of be back at it. It's taken a few seconds to separate the teams here. Well, Danny, Danny DePrima's giving it to Roque now. The officials are talking. It's going to be a blue card. It's got to be the diesel, right? There's going to be two. One on each. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened to, ha you know, where Mike had to react like that. Is it just me or we played a lot of four-on-four -four soccer here this year? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually Ben. You're, you are correct. There's been a bunch of four-on-four. -four. 
So who's going to go for who? Is it going to be Morgan for Harrisburg and Diesel for the blast? I don't know. I would think it would be Francis, right? Wasn't Fra Francis involved in that with Diesel? So did Francis throw an elbow before Mike pushed him? I'm not sure what happened there. It's going to be Morgan. Who's, go who's going for the blast here? This officiating crew's got to get a hold of this game. Yeah, Diesel goes for the blast. So Is it's nobody in for Harrisburg? I guess it's just going to be a two-minute penalty on the blast. Did you not see him wave off two players? Last penalty to number 20, Mike Diesel. Two minutes round sports for Mike Conduct. Time to the penalty. Three, Let's talk about this. Harrisburg's power play 47%, but in the win at Harrisburg in the 9-5 when they scored four second half power plays. Let's see what the blast. An embellishment warning for Morgan. He does not get two minutes. Harrisburg 47% on the power play, blast 50% on the penalty kill. One of the biggest parts of the indoor game, special teams. Special teams set pieces, absolutely. It's a make or break during the season. Francis, is it back? Well, foul on Mello. The foul advantage is now three to one. Lalella doesn't pull the trigger. Now he does off the post. Clear by Donatelli. Lalella runs it down in the corner. One minute left in the power play. Ten minutes and some change left in the half. Francis a drive, that's blocked. Lalella, Morgan, that's blocked. 45 on the power play. Lalella, corner, into the mesh. Elton with not a good strike there. Could build some good momentum here if they could, ki you know, they could kill this power play. to the corner. Let's go, Black. Herrera Black. heads it down. Black. 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 Ball comes free. Dos Santos wins it. Herrera is still down in the corner. Absolutely spilled. Shot by Francis. That's blocked. Great job by William. Comes out to block the shot and then gets back up. And I think he blocked the, he blocked the second one. Morgan off the boards. Rayleigh takes his time. Chips it. Pereira gets elbowed in the back. That's a knee. That's a day. That's a really dangerous play. That's got to be two minutes. You know what? And Hundell glared at the official, and then the official just sent him yeah, off. Yeah, but I would like to know what, what's taking him so long to pull the blue card there. I really think he wasn't going to call the foul or the two minutes until Hundell took exception to the whistle, and he was like, you know what? Here's two minutes for you. And that's, yeah, that's, that's I mean, that's, that's, that's a dangerous play. I mean, I, I remember Bob Lilly getting a fracture in his back. Same kind of play. You can't come in with your knee on somebody's spine like that. So four on four for eight seconds. Blast will have the power play for a minute 52. Blast power play 66%. Harrisburg penalty kill 67%. And I'm sure Hundell didn't mean to get him there, but you end up getting him there, and you have to call the you have to call the power the, the two minutes. France miss hits it, but I think the Blast will win the possession back. Break there for Baltimore. Vinny Danta, seven power play goals this season. Okay, corner, shot just wide. Comes around the turn, Donatelli settles. 
Melo Dantas tries to go to the corner of the box, but the pass for France knocked away. Yeah, I love Victor working both sides of the the boards down low. He's had two really good opportunities already. Willie B He's took open. that one straight off the face. Watch his balance here. He got hammered in the face. One minute left. Toe poke. Willie B saves that. It's loose. And how is that not a back pass? Looks like he went down on his knee, Lee. I, I, I don't understand that. I don't care if he went down on both knees. The guy passed the ball to him. It's got to be a back pass. Last to come out with it. 45 left on the power play. Okay, back gets it back, shoots. That's deflected. Donatelli, quick touch for Dantas. <laughs> Vinny's so, Vinny's so, I mean, uh, Tony's so calm on the ball. Dantas drags it forward. Donatelli has nowhere to go. 25 left. Mello, Roquet. I could try to find Victor down low. He had two really good opportunities already this, this power play. 15 left, quick drive. That's parried away. And again, Willie B makes the save, but he leaves a juicy rebound. Last, yeah, he hasn't been holding much today. Last chance here, two seconds, one second. Power play over. Roquet pushed off by Elton. Good strong move there. And out comes Harrisburg. They kill the penalty. So both teams with a good penalty kill. And halfway through the second quarter, Blast lead by one. It's got to be a foul on Harrisburg, a hold. Free kick Blast. Telly will control. Now Cemento. Pressure by Barry, and finally the blast forced to play into a corner. Thomas steps in, wins it back. France, good ball for DeSantos, but a good recovery there by DePrima. Harrisburg can't keep it alive. Now France cuts it back. Nascimento chased by Hall. Thomas has it for the blast. A little disarray right now for both teams. Yeah, it's been a little disjointed. To be fair, this entire second, this entire second half has been a little, or second quarter has been a little disjointed. A nifty move by Nascimento, keeps going, keeps going, and scores! <laughs> like a freight train, Marco Nascimento gives the blast a two-goal lead. I, I got to take a look at that again. I don't know how he got through there. Kind of ghosted, he ghosted his way, <laughs> ghosted his way along the boards. Let's take a look. It's a slick move to get by Hall. And they just keep going. I'm not, I'm not sure what the keeper's doing there. He kind of just put his hands out. Uh, well, I think we could say that Willie B has been very tentative tonight. He's, just been, he, he's been inconsistent is what yeah. he's been. He's made some fantastic saves, and then he's made some, some really big gaps. But that's a really bad defensive mistake by Hall as well. Uh, he's completely caught on the wrong side of Nascimento, and Nascimento just makes him pay for it. So it's Nascimento at 8-12. Jamie Thomas picks up the assist, number eight for Jamie. Sign on to the floor, we'll take one, two. Blast lead by two, five, three, back with more on NBC Sports Washington. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. No! No, 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 no. Jack, can I talk to you? I think you need one of these. You're acting like a kid. Yes, yes, yes. Have a blast and score big at Antwerp and Automotive. Jack is saying yes to every deal on all new and pre-owned vehicles, plus discounts up to $15,000 and no payments for three months. Now at all 10 Antwerp and locations. Jack says yes. yes. All right, back in Baltimore. Blast lead up by two. Harrisburg with the restart. 
Drive by Harris goes wide. Good clear. Dantas can't keep it alive. <laughs> Vinny had a head of steam yeah. there, boy. That's all or nothing right there. Yes. That's a big save by Vanzella on a long shot by Thompson. Because if Vinny wins that ball, it's over. He's going one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Yeah, that, that's absolutely his thought there. He's just trying to get a foot in and get it by him and, and head to goal. Now they've got to watch Francis on, the, on these restarts. The corner kick here for Harrisburg. Villela will preside. Two-man wall for the blast. Touch by Mello is taken away. Look at Mello by Francis. Mello turns the corner. Leaves it for Dantas a drive. It's just wide. Vinny Topoke is a save by Willie B. And then Vinny Dantas just running through players to get to the ball. That is an absolute art. I, I in all my years of playing, I just never had that quick toe poke and to generate that much power with no backswing at all is uh, not nearly as easy as it looks. It's a pretty big weapon because you're just not expecting it and it's got so much pace on it. Well, and it also illustrated what you guys have both been saying, which is when Willie B has to react and make an athletic play, he does great. Yeah, no, again, right there to make that save. Out come the Heat. Villela in a circle. You see a lot of guys running circles in this arena because there's such little space. Now, usually you could just play a ball into some area, but it seems to be the, the play is to, like, run around in circles because that's your area. Yeah. That's got to be two minutes. They say play on, and they don't even call foul. Is there, yeah, I was going to say, I, I understand the play on because he's going to goal, but isn't there a delay two minutes at times? Yes, there is. I mean, he took him down from behind, going to goal. And they didn't even call a foul. Yeah, this has been some questionable calls today. That's one on the bus. That's one on the bus. Now the blessed will get a bench warning. And this ball is going to be put in front of the yellow line. To Prima to the corner. Cleared by Dos Santos. Okay. Hundelt. Settled by De Prima. And ball to the boards. Hall pushes off on Dos Santos. Okay, can't win it. And they play it back for De Prima with 450 left in the first half. Very entertaining match right now. Barry with a quick step down the boards on Diesel. Ball taken away by Thomas. Jamie with the left foot up the boards. The Prima recovers. <laughs> nice. nice pick by, <laughs> nice pick by yeah, the official. Great pick, didn't he? <laughs> oh, turnover. Roquet. Oh. Lucas has been so close a couple of times. Yeah, he's unfortunate not to have a couple of goals right now. Dangerous defensive play there. We talked about no Nelson Santana tonight for the Heat. And there have been a couple of defensive mishaps for the Heat tonight. Villela. Cut off. Thompson. Under four to play first half. Elton. Nifty footwork by Villela. France steps in. Victor steals it away. Thomas plays to Donatelli down the far side. Oh, good recovery by Thompson defensively. And Hall away from the play pushes Thomas to the floor. And the foul was detected by the near side official. <laughs> Ty got his hand caught in the cookie jar that time. Yeah, I think it, it, it was behind the play. Honestly, I didn't even see it. So. Two man wall, Donatelli preside. Cuts it back. Dantas with a drive just wide. Nascimento off the glass. Hall steals and then comes off for a change. Elton tries to go around Dantas. Oh, dangerous play by DePrima. Yeah, the ball ran away from him there. He did he did well to just get a toe on it. Nascimento, DePrima keeps it alive. Francis settles. SK onto the field for Harrisburg. 
takes to the far side, picked up by Donatelli. Comes all the way across the field. Yeah, good, but great, honestly, great work by Tony because he's throwing that hesitation like he's going to shoot a couple times. If Tony bites, then he takes that touch around him and he's in. Good D. Morgan can't get the pass to the box, and Dantas one on one. Vinny tripped up by Elton. He loses the ball. Dos Santos steals. Dos Santos taken down by Elton. They say play on NDI. Mo flips off of Elton. It'll be a corner kick for the Blast. Well, it'd be nice if the Blast got some of these foul calls to uh, even out the fouls. Look like the Keystone Cops a little bit there. Everybody tripping over the ball, falling over the ball. Corner kick for the Blast. Mello presides here. He's directing traffic. Okay, around one defender to the far side. Pereira in front. That's blocked. Okay, back for Pereira. Great job. It kind of the, the free kick broke down there, but great job by Juan not forcing it and then really creating a really nice opportunity for Juan. Pereira holds. Mello now. Approaching the two-minute mark of the half. Roque, quick turn. Touches back. Oh, nice steal by Harrisburg, but they can't keep it alive, and NDI will let it roll all the way back for Vanzello. Vanzello with a quick distribution. Good ball here for Roque. Oh, Lucas got caught up on the spin there. Willie B flicks it all the way down the floor. And you know what? When in doubt, why not, right? Yeah, the, the Blast will take this, though. They've had possession. They're running some clock right now. Roque doubled. Ball comes free. Valella has it stripped. Roque steals. Lucas off the boards in front. Touch. Diesel score! Mike Diesel, number two of the game. It's 6-3 Blast. What a fantastic touch by Jeremy Rarely. And I was just about to say, Lucas has had some really tough shifts. Started the game off really strong, but... What a professional, continues to grind, continues to do the little things, and then created that goal. Wow, what a pass, though. We talked about this is the <laughs> second game where Diesel has gotten this type of pass, and he's been able to finish with the left foot. Yeah, listen, Mike, he's had two left-footed shots, both on target, both goals. Time to go 13-32. Mike Diesel with his third of the season. Just at the fourth of the season, his second tonight. Rayleigh gets his first assist of the year. Last steal. Double team, but last steal went back again. Now Cemento. Oh, I thought he could have went uh, for Dos Santos yeah, there. He's got to get it off his feet. Nifty footwork by Vanzella. Juwan Pereira comes back. Quick touch, good touch by Donatelli. Here's Dos Santos now. Ball's loose in the corner. Valella stepped in front of Nascimento, and now out come the Heat. Harris cut off. Pereira with a big time play there. Juwan, kind of a bad touch there. The Heat went it back. Good ball by Harris. Donatelli for Vanzella. Out come the blast, three on three. France, Nascimento to the box in front. Goal! Juwan! I'll tell you what, that was not just a clearance from William. William saw exactly where those guys were running, and he played a beautiful ball to create this opportunity. How about the pass by Dos Santos out of the corner? Oh, wait, check that Nascimento, my bad. Yeah, no, it's Nascimento sliding. Time of the goal, 14-26. with their biggest lead of the game. Marco picks up his fifth assist of the season. And for Juwan Pereira, goal number 21. Foul here on Hall. Yeah, from Too physical Please in the corner. Zella. Yeah, Good ball here for 
Dantas, but a nice tackle by Hundell. Dos Santos with the steal. Dantas rolls oh, it past. Cool. Thomas. Double team. Ball still loose. Finally, the blast come out with it. Mello. Oh, good win by SK. Francis. Ball goes into the turn. Time expires. <laughs> The ball what, goes a towards goal. what a clever little nutmeg by Vinny. He, they, what a nice little move along the boards there. Well, the blast answer back. Had a 4-1 lead. Harrisburg cut it to 4-3, but the blast answer with three straight to end the quarter and take a 7-3 halftime lead over Harrisburg. Goals by Hundelt in that second quarter for Harrisburg. Now Cemento, Diesel, and Pereira get the last three for the Blast. Let's go down to the field. Andrew Primrose standing by with Blast assistant coach David Batsko. David, I've done this with you a couple of games now. This is two years we've gone on at the halftime. Are you all right, man? Yes. Look a little. You're, you're, this is a lot of energy down here. What do you feel about the first half? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's um, first of all, we did well by executing. Yeah, that's the one thing we did well. We executed well. Uh, so offensively, we got to keep that press on it. But we still have to control, yeah, our offensive movement going forward. We cannot get too impatient. They want that game. They want to kind of us to get impatient, force the ball so they can come right back down our throats. They want the game to be a running game, yeah, and we don't want that game. So is that what happened? You had kind of the game of strengths. First quarter, you got off to the big start. They kind of settled back, and at the end, you kind of exploded again. Is that when you guys were doing what you wanted to do? Yeah, exactly. We're just telling the players, you know, possess the ball. You can't do nothing about it. So what happens is getting impatient in our offense. We start just driving forward. You know, we would, you know, didn't have good balance. So they was picking off our passes and just driving back at us. They want the up and the down game. You know, the goalkeepers, you know, struggling a little bit. So what they're doing is that they're throwing everything down the field. So defensively, you know, I think our first line of defenders is our forwards, and we have to clean that up just a little bit because too many balls are kind of finding their targets. Fantastic. Good luck in the second half. Thanks for taking the time. All right, thank you. Good job, Andrew. If you want to learn from the pros, don't forget about David Bascom's Football Leadership Academy. You can learn from David and the pros. Check it out for more information, BFLAcademy19 at gmail.com. Halftime here in Baltimore. Blast lead at 7-3 over the Heat. Second half action on the way. You're watching Blast Soccer on NBC Sports Washington. Every day, all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... Connect with your local agent or visit us online. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Our country has changed over the last 80 years. At Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield, we're not just embracing this change, we're driving it in our own backyard. As a local not-for-profit, we're tackling some of the region's biggest health challenges and making care more accessible for you by providing access to digital tools, transforming health care for over 3 million of your neighbors, forging new paths to live fearless. Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. The story is changing. The words ever evolving. Bolder. Braver. We are architects of opportunity. And what we're building is more than buildings. It's pride. College is capable of being more. And every day, we're proving it.
Josh, I just heard mine.
Every day, all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... Connect with your local agent or visit us online. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Our country has changed over the last 80 years. At Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield, we're not just embracing this change, we're driving it in our own backyard. As a local not-for-profit, we're tackling some of the region's biggest health challenges and making care more accessible for you by providing access to digital tools, transforming health care for over 3 million of your neighbors, forging new paths to live fearless. Care First, Blue Cross Blue Shield. The story is changing. The words ever-evolving. Bolder. Braver. We are architects of opportunity. And what we're building is more than buildings. It's pride. College is capable of being more. And every day, we're proving it.
Yeah. I just worry about covering. Right. Welcome back to Baltimore. Blast leads 7-3 at the half. Down to the field, Andrew Primrose with Harrisburg Heat head coach, Pat Healy. Well, Pat Healy, you're down here. You're saying hi to your girls for your club team that you're uh, you're the manager of. Uh, but on their, your men's MASL team, let's talk about that first half from you. You seem pretty upbeat. You seem relaxed and calm. I know you've been in this situation before. What did you say to your guys? Yes. This arena has a game of runs sometimes. Uh, you know, we were at the end of that run, but you know, we started off really poorly. We got ourselves back into it. Uh, and this game's not over, and it's a long game. It's in this building, anything can happen. I've seen it so many times. I've seen it. So let's talk about your young goalkeeper, Willie B. He's, you know, had an incredible season, an athletic specimen. He played really well here the first time. He looks a little shaky here tonight early on. Do you think that it's nerves or just flow of game, or what are you seeing from your young goalie? Yeah, guys have bad days sometimes. Uh, we're sticking with them. It's not, I'm not, not changing that. You know, but you're a field player, you probably don't see it as often. You're a forward, you miss goals. Ah, when the goalie messes up, you see it more. Uh, he'll be fine in the second half. We're looking forward to having a better second half, but it's over. We can't do anything about it. You know, second half. All right, good luck. Thank you. No problem. There you go, Andrew Primrose with Pat Healy. Any thoughts on uh, staying with Willie B? I mean, it's the right move, right? Um, I, I can't answer that. <laughs> and, and I'm being serious. Like, look at I say this all the time. Look at it. Unless you're there every day at 10 o'clock in the morning, right? You know, I don't know what he's made. I don't know what his mental makeup is. I don't know what his his makeup is with the team. I, so there, there's so much to be said about that. I, I'm assuming at some point, if he doesn't get any better, you have to make a change. Blast got on the board quickly. Three goals in the first 348. Here's Dantas with some extra effort for the goal. That got the blast offense started, and then off the set piece. It's a nice toe. It's a nice touch here. And we talked about Willie B. You saw that go through the defender's legs. And this was really the first one, Lee, where you thought maybe this is kind of a soft goal. Agree or disagree? No, I mean, it's definitely a soft goal. Oh, no, sorry. I thought we were at the diesel goal. No, that goal's tough. That goal's from a tough angle. It's a quick shot. That just ended up going between his legs. I, I, I don't really think that was a soft goal. Francis got it back to 3-1. Here's the next goal. I think this is what we're talking about. Yeah, so see. this is the one that, obviously, I think he would like to have back. Yeah, he just didn't see right. that one very well. He didn't Cut to see the it, but he didn't go. He went to, he, I don't know, he kind of went to push it. Right. End of the first quarter, Harrisburg got back into it, down 4-1. Quick turn by Morgan. That's just a great strike from inside the yellow. That is, but I think that's what uh, David was talking about. Then we see the Pundell header for 4-3. And they give the Blast some credit because they bounce back here. This not Cemento goal, he just kind of plays bully here as he goes through everyone and puts it into the back of the net to make it 5-3. to three. And that really got the Blast going as they scored the last three goals of the quarter. They get the steal here, Roque, and then a nice setup from Raley for Diesel, his second of the game, to make it 6-3. And then later on, just a great feat here, Lee, by Nascimento. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a ball from France that was a little bit too far in front of him, but he did a great job of sliding and hooking that far post. All adds up to a 7-3. Last lead at the half. Start for Harrisburg, and Elton just drives it into the netting for goalkeeper distribution. So an interesting way to start here. 
the second half. I feel half. like that play can be effective sometimes, especially on the small field, but not when there was that long of a setup. But both teams were on the field for at least a minute waiting. And while they were waiting, it was clear exactly what was going to happen. Now, uh, William was staring at Elton. I mean, that's just not a high uh, high percentage play when you know it's coming. Well, goalkeeper distribution, so the Blast will gladly take the possession. Pereira with some fakes along the boards. Good pressure, three-man pressure. And the Blast beat it. Out comes Pereira. Ball taken away. Francis has it. And Harrisburg now will possess for the first time this quarter. Well, it all worked out then, right? <laughs> I tell you, for being up 7-3, we really haven't gotten that many bounces. <laughs> yeah, well, so. no, that's true. That is true. Willie B all the way up to the midfield. Good ball for Valella. Glass will play D. Ball off the glass. Goes by everyone. Now Barry. Down the wing, cut off by Diesel. Dantas clears the turn. Ball comes free. Diesel, Pereira, back for Diesel. He can't get there. Near collision by two Harrisburg players. And there's still a little confusion down there. I think that was a near collision aided by, oh, a, yeah. aided by a little bump from, uh, from Diesel. A little push. There's a good chance. Thomas, Donatelli, shot off the board. Nascimento settles. Shot, kicked away by Hundell. Dangerous play by Vallel along the boards, and the ball stays in. That was the, uh, the old kung fu, kung fu kick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, sure what he was trying to do there. Another six inches. He wouldn't have been playing the rest of the game, that's for sure. I'll tell you what. That's one of those balls where you're trying to save it because you think it's going out, and then it's like a little short. Yeah. And and you're a little short. You're like <laughs> six inches from it, and you completely miss it. Thomas gets the elbow from Hundell in the face, or the chest area, I should say. Foul called, and it'll be a free kick for the blast. That's a pretty good takedown there. Two-man wall for Harrisburg. Some room for Mello here. Cemento, far side, Dos Santos just wide. Great setup, great play. Really nice shot by Adriano, just a little bit wide. Oh, good ball, Mello between the defenders. In front, oh, it goes through the crease. Comes out the other side, here's Bear, or Morgan, I should say. He'll settle things down for the Heat, so good, two good chances there for the blocks. Yeah, excellent composure and you know, comfort on the ball by, by Mello. His ability to use the sole of his foot is it's really creative. Pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, look at he grew up playing futsal, and that's all comfort on the ball in tight spaces. Will it be again to midfield? Hall turns, deflected. Again, he kicks it. It's blocked. Good job by Pereira defensively to Prima. Elton. Your side, Villela. Good touch, De Prima off the boards. Dos Santos knocks it down. Drive by De Prima, that's blocked. I, 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 the ball is driving me crazy, that's above the glass. They've got to take that down. Oh, it is. It's yeah. driving me up the wall. Here's a drive off the boards. It's actually in the field of play. I mean, it can be hit by a ball and still be in balance. So. It's in front of the glass, right? It's in front yes. of the glass. Well, that's they, not good. they got to no, fix that. They've got to fix that. You can't just leave it there. Good ball by William. A good touch for DeSantos. Referee gets out of the way. I was going to say, Paul, great job by that official. Look at the splits by DeSantos. <laughs> Adriano's oh. foot was on top of the defender's foot. <laughs> and so when he pulled his foot, he split. Man, it's all funny, but we're not Adriano, right? Oh, believe me, buddy. <laughs> I wouldn't be getting off the ground right about now. Good ball for Victor. Victor France has it in the corner. Left foot for Pereira. Three and a half gone, third quarter. Last lead by four. I'll tell you what, Victor France has been manhandled tonight. <laughs> he, he takes a lot of hits. For a small guy, he really uses his body well. Uh, doesn't shy away from contact. Sweeps one off the boards, and will he be the most aggressive play we've seen from him tonight as he sprawls off of his line to make that save? And a good distribution as well. Tough break. Barry tries to settle, but it goes over the boards. 
free kick blast far side. Oh, good ball by Andy I for Thomas. Thompson can't clear. Thomas goes down the boards. Hundelt can't clear it. Look at Jamie Thomas gets taken down in a foul call. Good work by Thomas on that far side. A lot of effort there. Mello will take the corner here. Dantas on the field, far side. He's got to be the target here, right? Let him unleash one. NDI's top as well. I would think over the top might be the ball here. Well, he, Vinny hit it over the top oh, of everything. I know Vinny's your best shooter, and, and you know, Jeremy was over the top, but still. Why not, right? You know, why not? That, that's, especially because Melo could drop that in no problem with his ability on the ball. That's, that's an easy ball for him. Better angle to shoot at. Good distribution to the corner. Morgan gets double team. Runs through the double team, and Manzella collects it for the blast. William with a strong distribution to the far side. Diesel exchanging passes with Vanzella, and now William for Dantas along the boards. Now, now hopefully I'm not jinxing them, but I, I love the attention to detail the blast has come out with defensively this, this second half. And we got a we got a break up here as uh, all kind of players on the ground. Rayleigh, Dantas, Morgan's up again. Did, did Dantas and, and Rayleigh collide? I'm not sure. I was following the shot. Didn't see what happened. Looks like Vinny's trying to clear the cobwebs. Is he going to be okay? Uh, Vinny's not coming out. There's no. <laughs> really? He, he'd have to be hurt serious to be coming out. Really had a good opportunity there. Just the touch was a bit high and wide. We go again to the box. That's headed into the crowd. Yeah, I would really like to see Adriano not get hooked to where he's behind Hall there and really step in front of him and have him and William sandwich uh, Hall. Not sure if this is the right way to say this, but Adriano keeps reaching for his groin. Well, when he when he did the split, you could see yeah, with his left hand, he was digging into his hip area. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could see that. He seems to be in a little bit of discomfort. I mean, he's moving fine, but definitely sticking with him. Ball to the corner goes by everyone. Now Cemento goes by Dos Santos. Oh, good ball by Roque. Dos Santos a goal! Adriano with number four on the year. What, what a great job by Lucas. Lucas kind of, you know, he runs in, he gets close to the ball, kind of baits him near the boards and then plays it off the boards to himself. Oh, it's just beautiful. And then a great feed. Time of the goal, 5-18. Dos Santos from Roque. It's a degree of difficulty to go on that inside foot. And I gotta tell you, Paul, that's not as easy as it looks to play the proper weight in such a small area because you can't play it too soft or the defender gets it played a little bit too hard. He doesn't get the shot off. It was a nice ball. Lucas keeps getting better and better as he gets back into the flow. A oh, good touch here. And Thomas with the left footed touch into the mesh. <laughs> and a blaster rolling right now. Remember, Lucas was away from the blast for almost two years. When he came back, didn't miss a beat, but you could just see how every part of his game really started to come together. Yeah, no, listen, he's he, he's a professional, right? So, I mean, look, at he's letting, he let at the beginning, he let his experience kind of carry him until he started to get his legs and his fitness underneath him. Foul on the blast, free kick for Harrisburg. Valella here presiding. Good ball cross. Look at William come all the way out and drive it into the crowd. <laughs> that was the most unorthodox thing I've ever seen in my life. And boy, did it work well. I don't think Jesus, Morgan William. even knew what to do. He turned around and there's William Van Zella right that in front of it. That was just shocking. But William did it great. You know what's great about it is he didn't hesitate. Like yeah. whether technically right, technically wrong, he didn't hesitate and he just reads, he does read the game very well. That's the first rule of goaltending. Make a choice. Whatever you decide, go for it all the way. Yeah, no, you know, too many times you get caught 
with indecision, and that's the that's the worst part of trying to play goal. Yeah, that's the kiss of death. Especially here. I mean, there's just no room for thinking here. Out come the blast. Mello. Oh, the turf monster got him. <laughs> that turf monster usually hangs out by the yellow line or the midfield. It's like a little gremlin. Counter attack by Harrisburg. Quick shot that goes just wide. Thompson runs on. He can't settle. Finally gets it to the middle. Villela. Nice ball for Thompson. And Vanzella right there for the blast. Good distribution for Thomas. Jamie to the boards and over the head of Dos Santos. Now come the heat. Well, it's exactly what David Baskin talked about. Just pressing and not being patient and waiting. The blast needs to settle a little. I tell you, Paul, what a great job by Jamie. So Jamie and uh, I think it was Victor, they were actually subbing. They were both subbing. And Jamie peeked over his shoulder and saw that William had to get rid of it and then made that run and really did a great job of, of understanding the time on the ball. Santos goes down after he clears. Morgan's down. Morgan gets called for the foul. He's holding his head. Athletic trainer out on the field to attend to Tavoy Morgan. I guess he collided with Dos Santos as he tried to make that clear. I'll tell you what, guys have been flying around here tonight. I know. And Juwan, Juwan set the tone early, and then everybody kind of just built up on that. And there's been a lot, like as the ball is being played, I'm following the ball and it's kind of bumping afterwards. Glass will take the free kick here. Vanzella will take it. Dantas is behind the keeper. Now he comes out to the corner, but bad distribution. Barry steals. And then good touch by Rayleigh to get it away from him. So that's, that's a smart move. So experience forwards. You play behind your defender, or you can, you know, goofing around playing behind. So the defender doesn't, doesn't know really know which way go, you're going to go. And you can point behind the defender's back where you want it, what corner you want it at. Handball on the blast. Ball off the boards here. Picked up by Dantas. Then he goes right by Valella. Down the wing. Shoots off the glass high. Diesel with the follow-up. Diesel cross field shot. Oh, Willie B got a piece across the goal mouth. What a fantastic ball by uh, Mike Diesel. How did the ball get through to Dantas? And then how did Willie B make that save? He's Ooh. coming across. He just threw his body across the goal and it hit him. Yeah, I think if you're Willie B, that's just diving and getting lucky. But... Uh, I don't know about luck. I was going to say, I don't know about luck either. I think that's good that's athleticism. A, that's just a great play. Yeah. That's just a play where you're a goalkeeper. You just not, you don't give up. You just do whatever you can to get as much of your body in, into the frame of the goal to hope it hits you. And it happened for him. Battle along the boards. Rayleigh has it. Still has it. Still has it. Oh, he pokes it through the box. Good job by Jeremy pulling that ball around the keeper. That's a big board win there for the Blast, and that wins possession for him. Rarely beat, rarely beat two defenders there to win the ball. Roque take it down, but Dos Santos, this is not good. Looked like Elton kicked. kicked him right in the ankle or the foot. It's funny, Lucas, Lucas has had a tough game today as far as his touch for, for him as a player. I mean, he's usually much clean, cleaner. But with that being said, he's created so many what, things. Two yeah. or three goals at least. Yeah, right? so many so things. It's somebody understanding sometimes you're having an off game, but not letting it affect your Just overall keep performance. Just keep Absolutely. Playing, yeah. Especially here because you get so many chances. So many chances. Dos Santos, Mello, Hundel, Francis has it, and he clears down the field. It's going to go all the way to William. William will let it roll. 
fires down the field. Hundell, nice job settling along the boards. Blast, though, cut it off. Oh, nifty footwork by NDI and finds Mello in the midfield. Here we go, Roque. It's a great settle by Roque. <laughs> It's Turns. Just, there's not much about Lucas's game that I don't like. Lucas does, actually, there's nothing about his game that I don't like. Lucas does so many wonderful things. In the eye. Turns. Oh! Through off the boards and through, but nobody home for the blast. And there's Roque getting back defensively, winning the ball. In the eye. Settles it for Rayleigh. Mello now, Victor France up front. Pereira down the wing. Ball in front goes high, and Willie B waves off his defender, Francis, and calls him off, makes the catch. Nearing the five minute mark, third quarter, blast with the only goal here in the third. Oh, giveaway by Willie B. France couldn't settle. Handball clearly by Thompson, no call. Yeah, there's, I, I think that was just a tough angle for the, the referee to see it at. Ball comes hot off the boards and the Blast have to retreat. Pereira, France, cuts it off at the turn. Victor tries to dribble out. Gets double teamed and loses possession. Morgan back on the field for Harrisburg. Elton pressured by Donatelli. The ball for Harris. Pereira drives through. <laughs> now Cemento holds up Valella. Valella goes down. Now Cemento battles, gets around him. Willie B clears. Good read there by Willie B. Stolen away. Here's Pereira. Pereira to the middle. That's stolen away by Harrisburg. Out comes Elton. Elton shot. Save it. Vanzella keeps it out of the goal. <laughs> wow. Great save by William. Fantastic. Harris can't get it back for his keeper. Thomas wins it. Thomas goes down and a foul called as Thomas holding his right ankle. Free kick for the blast. Far side past the corner kick area. William has been really focused tonight, right? So, I mean, he's been dialed in. Not a lot of anything else going on other than a great, just really concentrating on the moment. Thomas threw the box, couldn't get a good foot on it. Harrisburg force, force forces the blast back. NDI collects the mail and finds Dos Santos on the far side. Right Thomas. now, I would, I'm sorry, Paul. I would, I would love to know what the possession percentage of this quarter has been so far. Seems I, like I, I feel like the Blast have had it probably 70% of this quarter. At, at least, right? Danta steals. Oh, Valella with a slick little move and a chip. Oh, Barry with some slick moves, but Dos Santos steps in. Good touch by NDI. Mellow time and space. Dos Santos chips right to Willie B. No pass backs, Adriano. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't think that's what he had in mind. No, he went for the old chip. It just didn't uh, work out so well. Here's the heat with some possession now. Under three to play third quarter. Heat's just looking for the equalizer here in the third. They're down by five. Everything looks so much easier in your mind when you're when you're planning it. Right. <laughs> oh no. Elton now pushed back by Thomas. SK gives it away to Mello. Jonathan smartly pulls it back. Still has it. Still has it and his tricks. Foul on SK. I think, Mello, I think Mello needs a change here. Yep, there he goes. Pereira. Out juked himself there. Rayleigh has it though. Really can't get past. Pereira's shot, that's blocked. Good work there. Comes a high off the corner of the boards. Right to the blast. Blast got to bounce that time. Under two to play third quarter. A pinball action here. Ball still loose. Look at Roquet's speed to the ball. 
Donatelli turns. That's blocked. Dominic Francis with a big defensive play there. Uh, he, I, I, I think Francis saved the goal there. That was true pinball indoor soccer right there. Really? Good ball for Roquet. Lucas turns and faces this time. Run off by Elton. He's a little mad he didn't get a call there. But the blast settled. 115 left third quarter. Well, yeah, Harrisburg, we talked about this before. Harrisburg likes to kind of counter, but the blasts have really done a nice job of not giving them those opportunities. Absolutely. So not only are they keeping possession, but they're keeping really good balance. And then even more than that, their organization defensively and the what do you call it? pressure on the ball when they lose the ball in transition has been great this quarter you know and the thing is lee you know and this is one of those true axioms of sports literally you can't score if you don't have the ball and that's been an issue for harrisburg almost too many men on the field there the level with a good ball chance now for the heat play it back the, the prima with 35 left in the quarter harrisburg got really lucky it was the first guy on there is two off so they were one they were one player short so it was only three on the field. That's why they got lucky they didn't get that call because it was the fourth guy. So they technically only had five there on the change. If that had been the second guy coming out, they would have gotten the call. First possession time in a while for Harrisburg, and there's under 20 to play in the quarter. Going to have to go here. 12 seconds left. Play it back to the midfield. Valella drags it through. Shot blocked. Rebound goal. Unbelievable. Hundell puts it home, and it's eight to four. Four seconds left in the quarter. I was just about to say when you when you have that much possession in, in a quarter, that's the last thing you want to do is give up a goal in the last you know 10, 15 seconds. Again, it gets blocked right to Hundel. Lalella gets the assist. 14:56 time of the goal. So the Heat get the equalizer in the third. And did the Blast call a timeout? Oh, official timeout. Our first really stoppage of that whole third quarter. No, that third quarter was a pretty fast quarter. Not a lot of fouls. Not a lot of stoppages of time. No penalties. So we get the officials timeout at four seconds left in the quarter. And we'll be back. More soccer on NBC Sports Washington. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health. It's how we treat people. Drive is missed by Nascimento. And we have a 1-1 tie in the third. Dos Santos for the blast. Hundown for the Heat. After three quarters of play, Blast lead the Heat 8-4. Back with the fourth quarter after the break. You're watching Blast Soccer on NBC Sports Washington.
Every day all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... Connect with your local agent or visit us online. All right, welcome back to Baltimore. Fourth quarter action. Glass with an 8-4 lead over the Heat. And as it stands right now, Lee, everything is tied. If the game ended like this, the entire season series would be tied. Same amount of wins, same amount of losses, same amount of goals. Hmm. And it would, I guess, revert to um, plus minus. Plus minus. Which if that's what we understand. And the Blasts are just so far ahead in that category that it would be really hard for the Heat to catch them there. Thomas battling for it with the Prima. Valella clears. Rayleigh steps in, and finally Harrisburg clears it to Vanzella. Quickly up ahead to the midfield. Mello turns. NDI. Nice cut to the middle. And he plays it right to Harrisburg. Uh, Mo got a little lazy there, but then he wins it back. Now, listen, you just... You, you can't you can't do that you can't, you can't do that you just you just can't do that you can't be that lax basically you can't be that cute when so much is on the line he did a great job winning the ball back i give him credit but you just can't be that lax basically willie b plays it in the harrisburg defensive end elton will try to bring it out to the middle stolen away three on two for the blast Mello can't quite get it back to the wing I think Lucas would have been better off holding on to that one. Yeah, he rushed that one a little bit. Diesel pushes his way through. <laughs> like a bull in a china shop, let me tell you. Here comes Mello again with some space. Mello still has it. Caught. Oh, cuts it through. That was clear. It was clearly in the net, and, and Pereira was there to block it. Morgan, he drives it into the netting. Oh, my. Now, does, does Juan get a block for that? I think he should. I mean, it went off the defender for Harrisburg. He didn't just get a block. He cleared it off the line. Now, you want to talk about not getting the bounces? <laughs> that actually bounced the last way, but then hit Pereira on his way into the goal. <laughs> uh. France can't settle off the boards. Malcolm Harris comes out with it. Valella, far side. Valella with an assist in the game. He's got 25 assists. Looking at the score sheet, you know who doesn't have an assist tonight? Jonathan Mello. Yeah, but he, he's still had a pretty impactful game getting up and down. Probably one of their most hardest working midfielders on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I mean, Johnny gets, Jonathan gets up and down, up and down the field. Oof. Again, Willie B has some issues, but was able to finally settle. Good ball for Pereira. Joan will wait for reinforcements off the bench. Blast in no hurry here, up by four with 12.40 to play. Off the boards in front, still loose. And out comes Harrisburg. Willie B just left that in the box. I think that found the six inches between two blast players. And handball here on Harrisburg. Wow. They call a foul on SK. Oh, good ball by William. Can't quite find Dantas. Blast though, win it. The Blast, those secondary plays have been solid tonight. Where the possession's been up in the air, the Blast have come back and won the ball. Yeah, they've been a, they've done a really good job kind of anticipating where that second ball is going to be. Drive by NDI, saved by Willie B. <laughs> Thomas using his speed, loses the ball. Out comes Thompson. Thompson tries to navigate two defenders. Cleared, he could step in. Shot off the post. Oh. Great save by William. Barry rings the post. Harrisburg has it with 11.35 left in the fourth. 
Barry flicks it, but it comes around a turn for Vanzella. He fires it down the field. Hits the boards. You just never know how that is going to play. Yeah, but that's... It's that's crazy. An, that's an art. It is an art. You know, if you throw it and it hits the bottom of the boards, it comes out hot. But if you throw it just before, then it pops straight up in the air and it doesn't come out hot. Yeah, but as, as a player, you know, you've got to kind of figure that out. You've got to know what the glass is going to do. You've got to know what, you're going to know what the boards are going to do. Heat struggling with play in their own end. They turn it over again. Glass taken away. Roque. Turns, still has it. Donatelli flicks it. Pereira off the boards in front. Elton touches that to the corner. Pereira wins it back. Still has it. Finally, Willie B plays it around the turn. Quickly shoots it for Valella here on the near side. Well, how about that, Lee? Elton, Elton pushed Pereira and then fell down and they called a foul. Did Nascimento just kick the ball away between his legs? Yes, he did. Here's Pereira. Flicked away from behind. Rayleigh runs on. Finally, Harris pressures the ball out of Rayleigh's hands. I should say his feet. Manzella chips to the near side. This is going to go off the boards and into the defensive end for Thompson. A nice chip by William. Yeah, very nice. A mistake the the here. Arc. Defensive clearance. Top of the arc restart for the blast. Big moment here in the game. Five minutes gone and the blast can give themselves some breathing room in the tie break. An interesting place for a timeout. The Blast have two left. Three-man wall for Harrisburg. Mello. Donatelli. Oh, a big-time save by Willie B. <laughs> great save. Great setup. Great design for a play there. It's kind of great execution all around, both offensively. And what a great save. Let's go. Start for Mello. Flicks it. Dantas can't get a foot on it. Good win by Mello. Elton clears the box. France content to play it back for Vanzella. Warren Burner into the corner. Elton runs off Vinny. Thomas comes for the double team. Effective double team. Finally, Will Willie B pulls it off the turn. Yeah. Too far, though, for Elton. Elton got himself in trouble there, kind of trying to hold that ball up. Steal, loose ball, and Manzella goes over top of Elton after he gave it away. Good ball for Thomas. Will he be well out of his end? A oh, good tackle by Thomas. And foul called on Willie B. So I guess my question there would be really a lot of a lot of contact, a lot of good tackles and everything. But if you're going to call that, the goalkeeper is out of the goal, and the blast player is going to win the ball and basically have an empty net. So that should be two um, minutes. Just, and I know it's tough because there was a lot of physical play that they let play on. Around for Pereira. I mean, it easily could have been two minutes on Thomas if he doesn't get the ball there and instead takes Willie B down. No, absolutely. Like, he timed that as a great time time tackle, so he got the ball, and then there was another good time tackle, and then there was just a foul. Ooh. Elton blocks Dantas' shot, and it makes the upper deck. All right, that's Don't reach over for that. That scared the life out of me when he <laughs> leaned over like that. Oh. Yeah. It's not that important, man. You got to throw it back. <laughs> Got a telly with the restart in front. Rayleigh gets pushed off and can't get a shot on goal. Dantas wins the ball on the far side. <laughs> nice bit of skill to take that ball out of the air like A little that. bit, right? A little yeah. bit of skill there. A little skill touch. They make it look so easy, but it's not. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> 8.25 left in the fourth. Foul called. Pereira tried to make the run. DePrima pulled him down, and those two will chat. Friendly chat. Never sure how that's going to go. 
Yeah, yeah it's never really friendly. <laughs> Ball deflected by SK into the crowd. Glass will do it again a little bit closer. Really? Pereira. Barry loses it. Diesel back for Roque. Lucas plays it off the boards, kept alive. Donatelli settles. He can't get around SK. And Harrisburg wins possession. Dangerous pass to the near side. Okay, pressures Elton. Will it be for Hall? We haven't seen a lot of Ty Hall in the second half. Halfway through the fourth, blasts hold the four-goal lead. Out comes Willie B. Oh, dangerous play there. So now, Paul, you want to start talking about all the scenarios that come into play in a game that's eight to four? No, not right now. So. Jeremy Barely gets run over from Ty Morgan behind. So much stuff going on behind, away from the ball. I've got to stop following the ball. I just got to start looking off the ball. No, Andrew, I, I, I'm going to hold that back for another three or four minutes. All right. Don't want to jinx it. There's a lot of time left. Last play to the corner. Giveaway. France. Harrisburg's just giving the ball away an awful lot tonight. Yeah, but part of it is the credit of the blast. They really, there's no open guys to play the ball. So I think Harrisburg's got to make a decision. Either they kind of just dump it down in the zone, you know, or they're going to give turnovers like that because the blast has is, is really done a good job this second half uh, with their defensive shape and their pressure on the ball. Under seven to play. Manzello across the yellow. Nascimento off the glass with a bicycle kick. They're going to say it hit the corner of the glass and the, med and the mesh. So it'll be a throw in, a goalkeeper distribution for Willie B. We come back from the break. 6.46 left in the fourth. Glass lead the Heat 8 4. Back with more. There's one thing I want you to do for me. What? Come here. What? Win. Win. What are we waiting for? No one comes into our house and pushes us around. Well, let me ask you something, Mr. Campbell. Uh-huh. What kind of power you got? Oh, man, you know I got some soul power. I'm as bad as hell. I am not going to take this anymore. This could be the greatest night of our lives. We shut them down because we can. They don't know your heart. On this team, we fight for that inch. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. in Baltimore. Blast lead the Heat 8-4. The movie clip pump bump video at that time out. <laughs> I love that clip. Let's go, Blast. Goalkeeper distribution for Willie B. NDI heads that away. And Elton kicks it into the crowd. I think Willie B's arm's getting a little bit tired. <laughs> He's kind of dumped a lot of those balls in. And that didn't have a lot of steam on it, did no, it? No, it didn't. And the eye, click, quick flick. Dantas turns. Thought he was going to unload there, but he couldn't quite pull the trigger. Elton kicks it away. Rayleigh keeps it alive. And finally, out comes Hall. Right to Vanzella, though. William waves his guys down the field. Fires a bullet for Dantas, and he heads it right onto the into the hands of Willie B. That's a good throw down the field. Barry back for Hundelt, and 
Harrisburg has it. Again, very rare possession time here for the Heat. I think they literally possessed the ball for like a minute 12 of that third quarter. They found out a way to score a goal, though. Yes, they did. That's what you love and hate about our sport. <laughs> I just tied a game this morning that I think we outshot the team 30-1, to 1 and we tied 0-0. Zero, zero. They scored that one, that one shot? No, was a no, good one. it was 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, it was 0-0, zero, zero. okay. God, we hit the post like four or five times, missed a couple one-on-ones. Uh, soccer, don't you love it? Uh, <laughs> I, I so despise my sport at times. <laughs> Uh, he was some good possession time. 5.30 left. Still trailing by four. Thompson picked up by Dantas. Swings it far side, Hundelts. Oh, mm. just misses the far corner. Donatelli dribbles out. Off the boards, Valella runs him down. Glass has got to get a hold of this ball here. Last couple of minutes, the Heat has had a little possession, which is not hateful because the possession has usually been at midfield. Old chance here, Morgan with the touch, but Vanzella aggressively cuts that out. Also, oh. now the Heat take the ball away again. Only for a second though, as Roque wins it. Can't, can't find Diesel. Yeah, L Lucas has got to keep that ball, right? So in transition, they've got to understand now they've kind of turned it over two or three times. Just bring that back, stretch Harrisburg out again, get control of the game again, and run time off the clock. Barry, Diesel marks him. Hall can't get around Dos Santos. Plays it back for De Prima. Defense by Dos Santos on that far side and Hall's forced to play it back for Elton. To Prima now. He wasting time here. We're approaching the four minute mark. Yeah, as much as you know, I'm sure Harrisburg, I mean um the ball the blast would like the ball right now. This this type of possession isn't hurting them. Well you'll take this, right? Yeah. You're gonna kick it around for a while. Nothing to goal, no dynamic movements, no diagonal, you know, runs to goal. Thompson makes a run. It's by Donatelli. Williams slaps it down. It's still loose. Still loose, and finally the blast clear. Dangerous play there in the box. One of the few times William hasn't jumped on the ball there. 325 left. I mean, at this point, okay, gets the steal. Goes down the boards for Nascimento. Thompson kicks it away. 310 left. Giveaway. Donatelli. Nascimento can't kick it home. That's all right. Just play it back. No, he's got to finish that. That that Tony Tony's not happy with that. He, you know, Tony didn't take the shot and did the right thing and passed the ball. He's got to finish that. He's got to take a one-time shot there. Galella. Wins it back, 2.45 left. Morgan has it, far side. The Prima, he'll cut one loose. Yeah, the Blast is sitting back a little bit too far off the top, guys. I'm not happy with the space and time they're getting. Now Cemento gets through. Marco pulls it back out. Plays it near side for Dos Santos. Adriano to the box in front. Willie B with the save. And the clear by the Heat. 2-10 to play. Mello can't win it. Good chance here for Morgan. Morgan, topo goal. So Tavoy Morgan scores. Time of the goal, 12-56. 8-5 blast. Now we can start talking about tiebreakers because here's the situation now. Here's the goal by Morgan. So now the Blast don't own the tiebreaker. Harrisburg up by a goal and there's 204 left. If you're the Blast here, up three goals. Another minute in, do you, do you play six to tackle? An interesting development is Andrew Hoxie's in the game for the first time. Vinny Dantas on the bench and Hoxie in. To step in, so that'll be something to keep an eye on as he's set all game. 
this is this is when those those crucial misses come back to haunt you. You have two opportunities to, to go up by five. five, where if they do score a goal like Who that, it's, right. right? It's still you're still tied. Those two misses by the blast are hopefully not going to come back to hurt them. Well, and if you're Harrisburg, you're pretty much saying here you're not pulling your keeper. So you're saying, look, I'll take a three goal loss because I do own the tiebreaker, even though we're going to have the same amount of losses at the end of the night here. Well, and guys, Tony Donatelli has the sixth attacker jersey on. So the blast get possession. Looks like we'll see him. So we talked about it last week and it's coming to fruition. Barry down the lane. Last minute of play, regulation on Well, this late goal is a big development. Blast sets it down, timeout. So with 48.4 seconds, the blast will bring Tony Donatelli on the field. All right, Blast fans, when I call your name, you have won the Barks jersey auction. Kate, you won the Mandel jersey. Well, here we go. Does get back to those opportunities that you had. They, they had two, two golden opportunities uh, to go up by five there in that last couple of minutes. So uh, one that Nasimento doesn't take, and then one uh, I think the keeper may have made a save. But Adam Berman, you won Victor France, Reagan Decker, Kim May. You like we talked about at the top of the broadcast. Blast, even though if, even if they don't get an equalizer here, they still hold their destiny in their own hands. A win in Milwaukee next week guarantees a playoff spot. They do, but I'm sure they would much prefer in, in, to have the tiebreaker. Yeah, look at even if everything's tied, right? So even if everything's tied at the end of the day, they hold the tiebreaker. Harrisburg's not going to beat the next three, four opponents by ten goals a game. So let's see what they can pull out here in the next 48 seconds. And it's a good chance to work on your sixth attacker. <laughs> <laughs> it's always positive, right? Here we go. Donatelli will be the sixth attacker. He rifles one down the field. How about that arm? France miss hits the ball with the left foot. Kick in for Harrisburg. Quickly, Vanzella back in goal. Ball comes around the turn. Bello. Dantas now. Vinny. Ball deflected. Dos Santos runs on. In the box shot. Oh, Ro Roque hits the post. And ball stays in. 23 seconds left. What? Donatelli back on. Donatelli shot. That's blocked. Donatelli steps into Hundell. Far side, France, header. Roquet, shot off the post, and a goal! Adriano Dos Santos with eight seconds left gives the blast a four goal lead. I love, I love watching Lucas volley the ball out of the air. What fantastic technique he has. Rotating his hips, keeping it down. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Actually, it's going to be Lucas's goal because it went off the defender, not Dos Santos. So the Blast didn't get very many bounces, but they got a really important one at the end. Let's see. Yeah, this goes off Elton. Yeah, oh. it went off Elton's head. You have to give, once again, you have to give uh, Victor a lot of credit. Victor goes up and gets a tough ball, makes sure he heads it down in the right direction. Uh, so Fantastic Pat, character from the blast right there. Pat Healy actually called that goal, was, or timeout. It was announced as a blast timeout, but it's actually Pat Healy that called it with eight seconds. He knows the situation. He's going to try and draw up an offensive play to get one back here. Have you ever seen a more exciting goal when you're up three? I know, right? <laughs> We're jumping up and down here. Now, does Pat Healy take and pull his oh, absolutely. six attacker? Oh, absolutely. I, I don't see a six attacker jersey. 
Well, Paul, right. remember, they don't, they're not losing the tiebreaker right now. They're just tied. It goes to the that's, next one. I know, but in essence, they're losing. They're losing because they're never going to catch them in goal differential. Their goal differential is 65 to... Like 30, 31. 30 something. So, so the argument that uh, has been made by Harrisburg is maybe that interpretation is different. So. Oh, okay. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll change. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's interpret that differently. I, I always thought goal difference was goal difference. Here we go. Quick chip down the floor, off the boards in front. It say it touches the mesh, so it'll be 3.1 seconds left. Vanzella will throw it down the field, and this will be it. That should be it. And unbelievably, <laughs> as he distributes here, it goes to the corner, two seconds, one second. That'll do it. Unbelievably, all four games, 7-4, 7-4, 9-5, and 9-5, the exact scores on both sides. Wow. Harrisburg won in Harrisburg, 7-4 and 9-5, and the Blast win here, 7-4 and 9-5. That's, statistically, that's gotta be like hitting the lottery. Right, I would, I would think so, right? So the season series is an exact tie. If I've been informed correctly, that would move the Blast's goal differential in the Eastern Conference to plus 67, and it would drop Harrisburg's goal differential in the Eastern Conference to 31. plus 31. Right. So it'll be a 36 goal difference. Harrisburg would have to make up in the last four games. That's they'd a lot of to, goals. They'd have to win <laughs> against their opponents by an average of nine goals a game. If, in fact, that is the correct goal differential. Or the correct interpretation of the goal differential. I have no idea. How do you, how do you interpret a goal differential any other way? I, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know, it's a big win for the Blast. They move to 15 and eight on the season. Harrisburg drops to 12 and eight. Talked about the heat. They have four home games left on the season. Harrisburg plays Utica City twice, Dallas and Milwaukee at the Farm Show Arena up in Harrisburg to finish out their season. Blast have one game left. They face Milwaukee next Sunday in Milwaukee keep our eyes. Here's the save of the game by Vanzella. Remember that save as he parried it down, flicked it off of the cross or the post, and then was able to make the save. Let's go down to the field now. Special guest, our player of the game, Andrew Primrose, standing by with Mike Diesel. Let's talk about the team play that you guys had. You guys obviously came out ready to go. Three early goals. <laughs> it's William gets us. Uh, so three early goals from you guys. What was the mentality coming into this game? Why did you guys get off such a great start? Uh, we knew it was going to be a playoff game for us. We're still fighting to get in the playoffs, and we knew we had to win by at least four. So we were ready for a playoff atmosphere. So speaking of playing off atmosphere, sellout crowd here tonight. They were into it in the fourth quarter. What kind of energy does that give you guys? Uh, it always helps having a lot of fans here. We have the best fans in the league. So especially being packed tonight really helped us a lot. All right, so you guys got to go on the road next week to finish off the season against the defending champion, Milwaukee Wave. What's your mindset going into that game? Well, same as tonight. We know it's another playoff game for us, basically. We need a win to get in. All right, well, great job. Congratulations. Two goals and the player of the game. Well, thank you. There you go, Mike Diesel, player of the game here in Baltimore. Uh, we talk about the blast balance scoring. So Dantas, NDI, Rayleigh, and Diesel in the first quarter. Nascimento and Diesel and Pereira in the second quarter. That's six different goal scorers. And then Dos Santos and Roque. Blast scored nine goals. They have eight different goal scorers. And Mike Diesel is the one that puts multiple goals on the board. 
That's hard to stop. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hard to but, stop. No, but listen, that's great balance. It shows that, you know, Baltimore is not dependent on one player. So it makes it much more difficult to game plan around, you know, what you're, you know, around a particular player as opposed to a team. Lucas Roque picks up his 10th goal of the season, and we talked about it, which leads to an outright tie in the season series between Harrisburg and Baltimore. Milwaukee's leading over Orlando 6-1 up in Milwaukee tonight. So Harrisburg now 12-8 on the season. They play Utica City on Wednesday. A couple things we need to mention before we go. Danny Kelly turns what? 29 tonight? Danny Kelly, I think he's he's got to be at least 31. Danny Kelly at least 31 years old today. Ce celebrating his birthday today. So DK, happy birthday, brother. Big win on the birthday for Danny Kelly and I forgot Billy Nelson's going to be mad at me because I didn't wait wait until this long, but Billy Nelson in the house tonight. Billy Nelson was in the house. Marco Chantel gave me a little poke. He was in the house tonight. Always great to see the boys around. Sean Primrose turned 7. We got to talk there about go. that. Too. Andrew's son Sean. Ah. Big birthday party here at the Blast game tonight as well. Oh, good news final for the Blast. They win it 9-5 to five over the Heats. We'll keep our eyes on Milwaukee next week, Sunday afternoon in Milwaukee at 2 o'clock start Eastern time, 107 start Central as Milwaukee and the Blast wrap up the regular season for the Blast. It's going to do it here from Baltimore. Once again, our final, Blast 9 and the Heat 5 for Andrew Primrose and Lita Chantaret on Paul Mittermeyer saying so long. You've been watching Blast Soccer on NBC Sports Washington.